Hello everyone, myself Heming Satwara. I have been working in LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology since 2012. Today I am going to discuss about basic electronics. So first, what is electronics? Electronics is playing a key role in all engineering applications. All engineers should have basic information about electronics. Purpose of this subject is make students familiar with basic concepts of electronics. We will get basic information about diode, special purpose of diode, gates and transistor. So let us discuss about basic electronics. Basic electronics chapters are divided according to the components. Here we can see there are three different types of components. One is diode, second one is transistor, third one is gates, in which diode contains two various types of chapter. Chapter number one, which is diode theory and its applications, in which we are going to discuss about construction and working principle of diode, its VI characteristics, its applications like clipper, clamper, and etc. Then next is chapter number three, in which we are going to discuss about special purpose of diodes like LED, Schottky diode, Zener diode, photodiode, solar cell, and many more. So these are the chapters which is related to the diode. Here we can see the symbol of diode, which has two different types of terminals. Number one is anode, which is also known as positive terminal. Number two is cathode, which is indicated as negative terminal. And here we can see the component of diode. Here stripes indicate that terminal is cathode and opposite terminal is anode. So this is the symbol of diode and component of diode. Here we can see special purpose of diode, which are Zener diode, tunnel diode, Schottky diode, light emitting diode, which emit lights. It is also known as LED, Varector diode, and here we can see photodiode. So these are the special purpose of diode, which has special applications. So in this chapter, chapter number three, we are going to discuss about working principle and construction of special purpose diodes. Now next component is transistor. So transistor is classified into two types. One is BJT, another one is UJT. BJT contains two chapters. Chapter number two and four is related to the BJT. Now chapter number two is BJT and its biasing in which we are going to discuss about working principle and its construction of bipolar junction transistor and its biasing. Chapter number four is also related to the BJT but in which we are going to discuss about AC analysis of BJT. So these two chapters are connected with the bipolar junction transistor which is the first type of transistor. Now chapter number five is the another type of transistor which is known as UJT. Its full form is unipolar junction transistor. Chapter number five is FET and its biasing. FET and MOSFET are types of UJT. FET means it is field effect transistor and MOSFET means metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. In this chapter, we are going to discuss about working and its principle of FET and its biasing. So we can see here transistor. There are two different types of transistor. One is NPN transistor. Another one is PNP transistor. So here we can see this is the symbol of NPN transistor, which has three terminals, emitter, base and collector. Here we can see in pin diagram, there are three terminals. One is emitter in between emitter and collector is base. So this is the symbol with pin diagram. Here we can see this is the PNP transistor along with 
its symbol and pin diagram. So this is the similar to the NPN. So this all about transistor. Next is gates in which we are discuss chapter number six which is known as digital circuits. So if gates are classified so we can take three types of classification of gates. Number one, basic gates. Number two, universal gates. And number three, derived gates. In basic gates, there are three types of basic gates. Number one is AND gate. Number two is OR gate. And number three is NOT gate. So these are the basic gates. Number two, universal gates. Universal, in universal gates, we can see NAND gate and NOR gate. This both are the universal gates. It is known as universal gates because we can make any types of gates with the help of universal gates. And last one is the derived gates in which we can discuss about XOR and XNOR gates. So these are the information about gates. In this chapter, we are going to discuss about gates and its different types of circuits. So this is the all about introduction of basic electronics that's all for introduction we will discuss about thoroughly about this all chapters thank you